Okay, come on. Let's get the 2000s in 1852. I don't have I beaten anyone over this. Okay, hopefully I'll play this simple system. I used it in the quick play yesterday. Bishop d3, and uh, okay, you got the bishop out the pawn chain, and uh, like this guy's doing, and it's not particularly hot. But maybe there's a bit of control on e5 uh, to look forward to. If there's anything to look forward to, how the opening here. I'll try and get some e5 grip. Minority attack is another problem with this system. B5, b4. But the e5 square is, I think, my trump card to play, if there's any trump card. Uh, on the a5 as well. So I'll play for g4 and knight e5, I think. If I play bishop. Oh, I can't play bishop. Uh, what about bishop h4? And then g4. <coughs> g4, knight e5. Bishop back to g3. So he's going to take d3 down, play knight e5. So what have I achieved out of the opening? This actually, wasn't knight and pre? Knights and pre. That helps. This could be my first win against someone over 1800 on the three minute auto pairing. <laughs> or have I beaten someone over that rating? Yeah. So he's blundered the knight, this helps. Uh, so I'll take the bishop first and the knight e5. So I've got my trump card out of the opening with a piece up as well, which helps. I'll take this bishop off, then maybe uh Okay. I'll take the bishop off now. Queen d3. Can try and regain control now of the position. Gain more control. C3 is a problem. What about rook a3? Just to uh, maybe play rook a1 and rook a7, rook f7. So rook a1, rook a7 plan. Okay. Have I ever been over 1800? If I'm doing a finger, over 1800, just checking. Three minute. No, a maximum rating isn't shown yet. Um, because I'm in the provisional period, I guess. Right. So this is promising. What is he doing here? He's not moving. He's going to disconnect and forfeit or something. <laughs> no, knight g5 is coming up. Can I play h4 or f4? f4, f6, knight g6, protecting. Um, what about just king g2? Hopefully that's not a major disaster. So knight g5, rook e1 and then rook a7, that looks like a good plan. Maybe this this simple thing isn't so bad. Um, after all, maybe it's underestimated. That could be the advantage of it. I can get to play, oh, why did I drop c3? Why did I want to drop c3? Oh, it's simplified anyway. I'm going to drop c3. I'm going to check. What about uh, protecting the second rank here? Or h4 here? Getting another piece off. And also the h file looks dangerous. What about knight f3 though to knight g5 and then rook h8? So knight g5 and then rook h8. Oh, knight g5, knight g5, but then I've still got rook h1 as a threat. Getting a knight off as well. So the h file looks a bit dangerous. Otherwise, there was rook g3 maybe or something. Uh, no, anyway, it's check, takes hg, and okay, I've won. B to the 1852, finally, someone. <laughs> so now I'm 1837. Okay, I'm going to creep up to 2000 so today as a challenge. So e5 seems to be the only vague trump card out of this system. If you want to play this system against the Caro, simple system, just take their bishop d3. So, okay, black's bishop's outside the pawn chain, black gets a minority attack. But apart from that, it's, you know, an easy, easy opening to play. Get get control of the e5 square, win a piece maybe if you're lucky, that's good. And then 
uh, easy. Comments or questions on YouTube? Thanks so much.